so we will read about the acid and base titrations so firstly we will take the overview like what we are going to discuss in that first is the production second is acid and bases then we learn about the titration what is titrant what is titrate and then the types of titrations and then what is end point and what is equivalence point uh, at last what are pH indicators and titration curves so switching on the introduction first what is acid that one is hydrogen ions all of you know then what is base which accepts the hydrogen ions all uh, all of you know that the acids have pH less than 7 and the pH having more than 7 are bases and then what is titration so it is a technique which is used to determine the concentration of a substance by adding a titrant until the reaction reaches its end point like we are neutralizing the acid with the base until the reaction reaches its end point so what we do we take a titrate and we add titrate in it and when we observe a color change or we observe any visible change we came to know that its end point is reached and the acid is converted to base so next is what is titrate and what is titrate uh, as i said that titrate is a solution of the known concentration which i know that its concentration is that uh, is 0 0.1 molar or 1 molar or 0 0.1 normal so which is added during the titration that is which can be strong acid or strong base uh, which we use uh, gradually like NaOH and HCl then what is titrate uh, titrate it is a solution of the unknown concentration that we take in the conical flask and uh, we will add some indicator to that and then we will titrate it against the titrate so uh, we calculate the reading at which concentration it is neutralized uh, we observe a color change so next is the standard solution so uh, the solution which is having a known concentration to us which is used for titration uh, then next is what is end point and what is equivalence point the end point is the physical change uh, which indicates that the reaction is complete like we observe it but the equivalence point is when the amount of titrate is equal to the amount of analyte like which neutralize is it so uh, what is back titration so in back titration what we do uh, we add excess titrate like we add a uh, strong acid or strong base which we are having the concentration we added excess quantity and measuring the excess with another standard like we don't use sample in that next what is definition so acid based titrations uh, the definition is the a quantitative chemical analysis method used to determine the concentration of an unknown acid or base by neutralizing it with the standard solution of the known concentration so it is all clear that it is a quantitative analysis so, quantitative like we uh, measure the quantity like uh, at how much volume the uh, concentration of an unknown acid which we take in the conical flask is neutralized by the standard solution which we take in the period so uh, next is the types so what are the uh, different types of uh, acid base titration first is strong acid and strong base then weak acid and strong base then weak base and strong acid then polyprotic acid and strong base and polyprotic base and strong acid so what is polyprotic acid polyprotic acid uh, which donates many protons and polybasic acid which accepts many protons Next is uh, which we want to uh, learn that what are the types of acid base titrations. First is the strong acid and strong base titration. Uh, so, in which strong acid is hydrochloric acid and the strong base is uh, sodium uh, hydroxide. So, when these reacts, uh, salt is formed, that is sodium chloride, which we all know, and the water is formed. But in the case of strong acid and weak base titration, so here uh, we take ammonia as a weak base. So, what we uh, observed that ammonia and hydrochloric acid reacts and forms a salt that is ammonium chloride and in the same that strong base and weak acid uh, titration so uh, here the strong base is again uh, sodium hydroxide but the weak acid is acetic acid so uh, what we uh, observe in the reaction after uh, these two reacts sodium acetate and the water the sodium acetate is again a salt and then at the last uh, weak acid and weak base titration so we will take acetic acid and the ammonia and we will uh, obtain uh, ammonium acetate next is pH sensitive indicators all you know that uh, litmus paper uh, we uh, all know uh, that uh, we use mostly litmus paper in our laboratories so uh, what we observe that color change if the color is red then it is acidic that is pH 
and if the color is blue then the uh, solution or uh, the sample is basic that is pH 8.3 so above the pH 8.3 uh, the pH paper shows blue color so uh, it uh, the color is red and uh, again from red it changes to orange then yellow and then uh, to uh, neutralization point and then uh, to dark blue so uh, dark color that is blue color indicates that it is basic red color indicates it is acidic or shades of red like orange yellow it indicates also acidic stuff second is a phenolphthalein so we use mostly when we perform a titration so what we do uh, what uh, what we do mostly we add two three drops of phenolphthalein and what we observe that from the colorless it uh, is converted to the pink slightly pink color appears so the ph again goes to acidic side so the ph uh, less than 8.2 is uh, colorless and ph 10.0 or 10.0 the color uh, the solution converts into slight pink color then we use methyl orange again uh, the ph of methyl orange is uh, 3.1 uh, if uh, it is in orange color it gives orange color when we add in acid so when we titrate base in it it converts to yellow color uh, that is the ph is a uh, when the ph is 4. Point, above 4.4 then the yellow color is observed the next is bromothymol glue so uh, here uh, it imparts color a yellow color to it that is a, uh, almost neutral and then when base is added uh, then it shows blue color that is 7.6 above uh, ph 7.6 it shows a blue color so it it has a narrow range okay uh, again uh, methyl orange also has narrow range so we use mostly nothing then last is universal indicator that is color change uh, which uh, shows the color from red to violet uh, across the pH 1 to 14. So here is a graph which shows that strong acid here and the equivalence point and that is the midpoint. Midpoint is when the when you uh, reaches half of the reaction that is uh, half of the acid and half of the base. Next is strong acid and strong base titration which we study mostly. So here the three degrees of the titration come that is at equivalence point, before equivalence point and after the equivalence point. So before equivalence point we have acid in the particle flask. So pH is determined by the excess HCl. So HCl has a pH 1.1 or 2. So the pH is 1 or 2 only. But at the equivalence point the mole of acid is equal to the mole of base. Like how much base we added and it will neutralize the acid and the pH is almost 7. So after the equivalence point no acid remaining but we adding the titrant again and again so the pH increases towards uh, the basic side that is 12 13 etc. Then what we observe that in the titration when we add uh, like in the burette we have a NUH and in the uh, particle class we have acid. So what we do we add uh, 0 at first we take the reading and we uh, estimate the pH like what is the pH at 0 ml so it is 1.6 that is only at sale is here then we add 2 ml of NUH and the pH goes on increasing but a slight increase so we add 1 or 2 ml 1 or 2 ml and we uh, we see that we observe that there is a slight slightly slight 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 increase in the pH at last there is a jump like we added 26 ml of NUH and it is pH is 3.05 but when we add 1 more ml like we add 0.5 ml it is 3.20 and then we add more 0.5 ml it is almost 9 that is the pH jumped directly to from 3.2 to 9 that is the strong acid is prepared by the strong base but in case of weak acid or weak base we use so we did not observe that slight change because the pH is almost like for a weak acid if you are considering that the pH is 1.6 for the strong acid but the for the weak acid the pH is almost uh, 3.6 or 4 point something so we observe an increase up to 4 to 9 that is not a big increase but here the graph is sharp or we can say uh, a big increase in C then if we are titration weak acid and weak base so we are using these equations like if you are calculating the for the weak acid so pH is calculated by 
टी के एट इज डिसोशन कॉन्सेंट ऑफ एसिड डिसोशन कॉन्सेंट प्लस लॉग ए माइनस अपॉन एच ए सो हेयर इज ए क्वेश्चन दैट लास्ट एट द लास्ट वी हैव गिवन दैट हाइड्रोसन हैजरबाद इक्वेशन विच इज पी एच इज इक्वल टू पी के ए प्लस लॉग टेन ए माइनस अपॉन एच ए लाइक इफ यू आर कंसिडरिंग लाइक एसिड एंड वाटर रिएक्ट्स सो वॉट एसिड फॉर्म्स कंजुकेट बेस एंड वॉट वाटर फॉर्म्स हाइड्रोजन आइंस सो वी टेक हाइड्रोजन आइंस कंसेंट्रेशन अपॉन द एसिड फॉर द केस ऑफ एसिड्स बट फॉर द केस ऑफ वीक बेस वी टेक द कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ कंजुकेट एसिड अपॉन वीक बेस ओके सो एंड वी कैलकुलेट द पी एच सो फॉर द वीक बेस वट वी डू फॉर कैलकुलेट द पी एच पी एच इज इक्वल टू फोर्टीन माइनस पी ओ एच लाइक वी आर कंसिडरिंग दैट ए सोल्यूशन हैविंग द पी ओ एच और वी कैन से कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ ओ एच माइनस आइंस इज ट्वेंटी सॉरी इज थर्टी सो वट इज द कंसिडरेशन ऑफ वट इज द पी एच सो वी अगेन माइनस टू दिस फोर्टीन माइनस पी ओ एच दैट इज पी एच ओके दैन एट द लास्ट वट देर इज अ क्वेश्चन दैट पी वी कैसिड फॉर वी कैसिड एक्स पॉइंट इज डिटर्म विद पी के बी एंड वी केस पी एच डिटर्म विद के equation is kb plus k is equal to 40 last we are having graphs so i told you earlier that there is a sharp decrease in the uh, peak uh, for strong acid and weak base again uh, the weak base having almost the ph less than 40 or uh, it is almost to 12 or 11 so it decreases then for strong Uh, weak acid and strong base, the peak decreases, but not to that much extent. It uh, almost decreases to six pH only. And for weak acid and weak base, uh, the pH is decreased very slowly. At last, what is applications? First is laboratory analysis. We determine the concentration of acid or base uh, present in the solutions. Like second is the industrial application, used for the quality control in manufacturing processes. Third is the environmental monitoring, uh, which is used to measure the acidity or alkalinity. Uh, water samples uh, like uh, we used to monitor the environmental conditions we have a sample of soil so we used to measure that what the uh, amount of acid or what amount of basic uh, base uh, in these or in the water sample due to the pesticide or due to industrial uh, pollution or whatever or uh, in manufacturing process we use a quality control uh, so in the industry in the pharma industry a uh, quality control department uh, takes care of that so this is a use of as a basic solution okay there there we are thank you so much